Hello everybody, my name is Eric Ross and in this video we're going to review debugging JavaScript. We'll go over uh, how to use some tools such as Firebug, Dreamweaver, and Google Chrome to find errors in our JavaScript code and to fix them. So I'm going to start out by looking at uh, a file that I've created. It's very similar to an assignment uh, in IMD 312 where uh, you're supposed to create three functions. Uh, I have added my own errors to this file. Um, so as we can see, this file, really nothing is showing up other than our HTML code. If we view the page source though, we can see that there's a bunch of code in here, but for whatever reason, uh, and that reason being I've added errors to this file, uh, nothing is showing up on the page. So as we can see, if we were just looking at the code through your browser, um, just at first glance, there's really, it's really difficult to find the errors that are in this file. Um, so, you know, just a quick glance here. I know where the errors are because I actually created them, of course. But if I was just, you know, if I hadn't created this page or maybe I hadn't looked at this page in a while and someone said, hey, Eric, can you try to find the error in here? I would have a really difficult time just going through here and finding that. I'd probably have to go line by line and make sure every little character is right, make sure there's not a missing quote. Uh, etc. So that's where these debugging tools come in really handy. So let's start out by lo just looking at what Dreamweaver provides. And Dreamweaver uh, starting in, I want to say it's version CS5 or maybe it was CS5.5, they actually added some built-in JavaScript uh, error checking. So as you can see I pulled up this file in Dreamweaver and right away we get a yellow box up here that says hey you got an error and it's trying to point us in the right direction. So you see we got this little red tab here that says, oh, we found an error right here. And this red uh, indicator is usually a pretty good idea of where the error is at. Um, if it's not the exact line that's in red, it's usually either the, the line before it or the line after it. So in this case, um, it's actually pointing to the right line. And you can see that it looks like I tried to add a comment here, a JavaScript comment, but I'm missing one of those slashes, so the comment isn't going through, which is creating an error on the page. So uh, that's one of the that's one way you can you can use Dreamweaver to find your errors. So I know I needed to add a slash to this page, right? Um, and that would fix that error. Now there's still other errors in this page, um, but Dreamweaver has decided that that's the only one it's going to show us. Sometimes uh, Dreamweaver is just slow, so when you fix one error, it might just be slow to find the next one. But in this case, I've had this page open for quite a bit now after I fixed this error, and still there's no other red lines and there's no indication of any errors. In fact, it says no syntax errors, but I know that there are additional errors in this page. So what other tools can you use to try to find your issues? Well, one of the ones that I uh, would recommend using is a Firebug. Firebug is an add-in to Firefox. If you uh, if you don't have it already, I would highly recommend you go and install it right away. If you just do a Google search for Firebug, it's the first result, getfirebug.com. And of course, Firebug only works with Firefox, so you must be using the Firefox browser. But you just hit the install Firebug, it'll install it into your browser, it'll ask you to restart your browser. Um, and that's all you really need to do to install it. But once it's installed, there's a couple of ways to open it. Uh, usually there's a little icon up here that looks like a little bug. Uh, you click on it, it'll open up Firebug. The keyboard shortcut is F12. So uh, I like to use the keyboard shortcut because it's really quick. So F12 will open and close it. Um, so uh, since I've already opened this page, when I open up Firefox, or when I open up Firebug, no errors are showing up. So that's that's one of the the uh, the downfalls of Firebug, and I wish it was something that they would actually fix. But no errors are going to show up until you've opened up Firebug, and then you have to actually refresh the page, reload it. So if I do that, now I'm going to start to see a bunch of errors show up. So uh, as you can see, uh, there's a bunch of errors that are showing up. Uh, not all of these are necessarily errors. But because we have um, uh, errors in the page, 
uh, we have errors near the top of our code, so it's going to cause a lot of the code below the error to actually fail. So what you should probably do, uh, what you should definitely do, is always start from the topmost error and work your way down. So in this case, we already went over this error that says the uh, I'm missing that slash in the comment. So you can actually click on here or over here on the line number, and it's going to open up inside the script tag and bring you to that exact line so you can kind of see, okay, what is it talking about? So in this case, I would go back into Dreamweaver, add this slash, which I've already done, um, but I need to upload the file now. So I'm going to put that file up. So now that it's uploaded, I'll go back into Firefox and we fix this error. So I'm just going to reload the page. Okay, so that error went away, but now it's showing us another error that's in the page. So in this case, it's pointing us to uh, line 33. I'm going to click on here and it's saying, let me go back to the console and see what is it saying. So it's kind of, it's saying the missing semicolon. Okay, well we have the semicolon at the end here. So that this error message actually isn't correct, although there is an error in this line of code. So that's the that's one thing when you're working with JavaScript. Uh, any just about every tool that uh, checks JavaScript code for errors, it's not always 100% accurate. Um, that can be somewhat frustrating when you're working with JavaScript. Some other languages like ASP.NET, C Sharp, Visual Basic, their debugging tools are much much better. For whatever reason, JavaScript is just uh, not a very easy language to uh, error check, error fix. So in this case, the error, the actual error that Firebug is returning really doesn't make a lot of sense, but it is pointing us to the right line of code because there is an error here. So this is a this will still help you quite a bit by narrowing down where the problem is. Now you just have to find it yourself. And in this case, if you look at this closely, we have a, a message variable being set up, and it's set up to say the square footage of the, and then plus room name. So we're actually missing a quote here. This sentence, or this part of the sentence should be terminated with a single quote. We got one in the beginning. We need to add one here and then add the room name, then add the word is, and then add the room area. So if we go back in the fire, or in the Dreamweaver, I'm going to scroll down to that line of code and I can see that this is where my quote is missing so if I add a single quote we've now fixed that problem so I'm going to put that page up upload it I'm going to go back and refresh my page okay so now we're starting to see things happen so our age check is working but you can see that we have a couple more errors that are showing the first one is saying uh, var d equals date, date is not defined. In this case, Firebug picked out the error exactly where it was at. And the problem with here is because I have new date all lowercase, and date actually needs to be uppercase. So date is not defined means, uh, hey, I don't know what date is. And since it's lowercase, it can't find it. So we're going to go back in the Dreamweaver. We're going to go to that line of code, which is var d equals date. And as you can see, it is lowercase. So I'm going to uppercase that, and I'm going to upload that file again. Go back in the Firefox and refresh. Put in my age. Okay, so we got another error here, and it's saying uh, if it's saying is nan is not defined. So just like the date variable that we had before. Uh, Firebug is saying, I don't know what is NAN is. I don't know what that means. It's not defined. It doesn't exist in JavaScript. So again, I've also misspelled this. Is NAN is actually supposed to be a lowercase a in the middle. So I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to look at this line of code. I'm going to say, oh, yep, that should be spelled properly. And you can see Dreamweaver is even color coding some stuff that it can recognize in JavaScript. So before, if I change this back to uppercase, you'll notice that the text is completely black. If I, When I go to fix it, it turns green. And it's green because 
Dreamweaver knows that is NAN is an internal function of JavaScript, just like document.write is. You can see this is green, and get full year is an internal JavaScript function. So that's also another indicator. So I'm going to upload this, and I'm going to refresh my page again. Enter my age. And now we got one more error, and it says width, W I D H, is not defined. So again, it's finding a variable that I misspelled. I spelled it WIDH instead of WIDTH, and it just has no idea what the variable WIDH is. So if I go back and look at my code, I can see that in this function I've defined three parameters, room name, width, WTH, and length. And in here I actually misspelled width. I should have been a T. So I will upload that file, and I'll refresh it. And I'll enter my age. And now it looks like we've fixed all the problems. So we can see we're getting the right output that we expected, and that the console is now completely free of errors. Nothing, uh, no red is good. So uh, let's actually look at Google Chrome now, real quick, and look at its uh, error log. So I'm actually going to undo all these changes I've made. So I get back to my error file, and I'll put in that comment error, and I'll upload this, because I want to check it out in Google Chrome now. So I have the file open here. I'm just going to refresh it to make sure I have the newest version. Uh, Google Chrome has a very similar uh, debugging tool. It's built into the browser, though. It's not an add-in that you have to download. Uh, it's called the Developer Tools. And uh, if you go into the little wrench, icon in Chrome, go to Tools, Developer Tools. Uh, you can also use the same keyboard shortcut of F12 to open and close it, which is kind of handy. Um, and this one, it has a console, it's just in a different location, where in Firebug it was over here on the left and Chrome is over here on the right. So one of the things that's different about the Google Chrome tools is that you don't have to reload your page even if you don't have the console open it's still tracking all the errors on the page so let's just say I have that close I refresh my page then I open it if I go to console the errors are still going to be there but it's still you know I've gotten into the habit where I'm so used to refreshing the page after I open it that I still do that from uh, firebug but as you can see uh, Chrome does something very similar to firebug it's pointing you to where all the errors are at. It's giving you what it, the best error message that it can find um, and pointing you to the right line number. So uh, it does, in this example actually, uh, it actually knows that you're missing a slash, which is kind of cool. If I click on this, it's going to bring me uh, right to the line. It's going to actually put that error uh, right underneath of that line of code so I know what I'm trying to look for. Um, and so I'll just go through here real quick. I'll change that. I'll upload it. I will go back in the Chrome and refresh. Go back into the console. And uh, now you can see that that error went away and now we're going through all the others. Again, uh, always start from the top down. Uh, you can see that some of these errors they're actually not errors but because there's other errors in the page these are showing up as errors so always start at the top again I clicked on that first error and it's bringing me to that line where we're missing the single quote um, so you just like we did before you would go through and fix every error line by line so I hope this video helps uh, some of you with uh, debugging your JavaScript code I'll be adding additional uh, videos that will go into even more debugging techniques alright Thank you.